Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how to connect to SharePoint online using PowerShell and what are the basic commands of SharePoint online. But prior to that, we'll see how to install SharePoint online module to run those commands. So guys, and let's start our today's demonstration. Okay friends, so now we are on our lab environment and we will open Windows PowerShell now. On Windows PowerShell, if we will try to connect to our SPU service, we will enter the command connect-spu service. You can see there is an error message. This error message is coming because we haven't installed SharePoint Online Management shell and this is the reason we are getting this error message. So there are two methods to install SharePoint module. First method is to go to the browser, simply type SharePoint Online Management Shell. There is the first link of Microsoft, you can click over here. And you can see SharePoint Online Management Shell. You can click on download to download this module. Now let's see how we can do it using PowerShell. So to install SharePoint Online module, we'll simply type Okay, so we have entered the command install module microsoft.online sharepoint.powershell scope current user. This command will install our SharePoint online module on our this system. So we'll press enter and we'll wait till the time our installation of SharePoint online module gets complete. Now we have to provide the input. Do you want PowerShell get to install and import on and you get provider now? We'll press Y and then we'll press enter. It will take around one to two minutes to get installed on our system. Okay, so it's saying untrusted repository. Still you want to proceed? We'll type type A, yes to all. Okay, so you can see install. it's installing the package. Okay, so now our command is successfully executed. Now if we will try to connect to SPO service, we won't be getting the error message okay connect spo service okay so do you want to run the software for this untrusted publisher we'll type r to run it once okay so you can see now it is trying to connect to our spo service and it's saying supply values for the following parameters now it's asking for the url so here we have to enter the url of our sharepoint online so where you will get this url now in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I will open navigation menu and I will click on SharePoint. So basically this is the URL which we have to enter on PowerShell. So we'll copy https colon captech admin sharepoint.com. We'll copy this, we'll go back to PowerShell and here enter this. So now I will press enter. Now it will ask me to sign into the account. So let me enter the credentials. Okay, now let me go. Okay. Now I will click on sign in. So now I am successfully logged in. Now, first of all, I want to see the list of site on SharePoint Admin Center. If I will click on admin sites, these are sites which I have created on SharePoint Admin Center. First of all, let's see how to see all these sites using PowerShell. So here I will enter the command get SPO site. And if, if I will press enter, you will see the list of sites. So you can see these all are the sites. Now, if you want to see uh, details of particular site, you can simply type get SPO site space dash identity space. Now enter the URL of the particular site of which you want to see the details. So I want to see the details of my test site. So I will simply copy it and I will paste it over here and and now press enter so you can see the URL the site owner is rachit at the captech.onmicrosoft.com and this is the storage quota now if you want to see more details about this site you can simply add, enter space pipe and fl Now you will see all the details of this particular site li like last content and modified date is this 
the status is active or not and you can see lot many things like the url of the site and what is the group id you can see lot many things from this fl okay after seeing the fl now if i want to remove a particular site from my active state so say for example i want to delete my site test which is this site so there's a command to perform this action so i will type remove dash spo space dash then enter the identity and and enter the url of the site so this is the site which i want to remove so now i will press enter so it's asking do you are you sure you want to perform this action so i will press y and i will press enter okay so now i have removed my site test so i will minimize powershell and let's see on sharepoint admin center it's removed or not if i will refresh this okay so you can see my test site is now deleted if i will see on deleted site it's over here we can see this using powershell as well if i will again type get spo site you can see test site is now not listed on our this list now okay so we have removed our site now if you want to restore it using powershell there is a command for that as well so we'll type restore dash spo site delete site space dash identity now then we have to paste the url of the site which we want to restore so the url is this of my site test so now i will press enter so we have make a mistake on the command now i will press enter okay so now our command is executed now if i will see my site is on active state or not so we'll again type command get spo site and now we'll press enter so again you can see my site test is now on active site if i will minimize my powershell and if i will refresh my admin center you can see my site is now restored so friends we have learned how to download module for sharepoint online we have seen how to connect to our sql service then we have to simply enter the url to connect to a specific sharepoint admin center we have seen how to see the list of site and how to remove it and how to restore a particular site so guys this was a brief introduction how to use powershell for to connect to sharepoint online in our upcoming videos we'll see more advanced commands for our sharepoint online that's it for this video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video